Hello, friends. It's Miss Dom. I found a wonderful book in our NC Wise Owl Library that really inspired me. I thought it was very creative, and I hope you find it to be creative and inspiring too. What the author illustrator did is just got a simple ball of string and use that as sort of the starting point for creating some different little works of art in the illustrations. So let's take a look at what the author did and maybe it'll give you some ideas of things that you'd like to try. One Piece of String by Marth Jocelyn. Can you follow one strand of string through this naughty book? So here, it looks like it's a crumbled up paper bag that then was folded to make a package and that package was tied with some string. Hmm, what else? Here, I see the string. Do you? The string is strung up like a clothesline. And it looks like little pieces of clothing were cut out from pictures of fabric. Maybe it's actual fabric. It's kind of hard to tell. Here we have a couple more pictures. The string winds around the snail shell and then it outlines the rabbit. On the left, the string has become hair. And on the right, what is that food called? Spaghetti or noodles. Ooh, here the string creates the texture, the texture for the fuzzy sheep. You can see how it's looping around all throughout the body. I like how the illustrator creates a collage. You can see that she took different pieces of paper and you can see where it's cut out sort of jagged along here to make that horizon line. But then the texture for our little fluffy sheet is made by tearing the paper and then adding all that string. What's next? Ooh! Use the string to make the silk of the spider web. And you see where she put the string on that owl? Yes, that's it on the eyes. Hmm, where's the string here? <gasps> there it is on the lightning bolt. I see some stitches for rain. Look at where the yarn is or the string is on that birdhouse. It looks like snow. And what about where's all the string on the nest? It makes the texture of the nest. Here, the string sort of outlines the petals and also sort of creates a pattern going around and around to make the flowers. And here, that string is showing the waves in the water. Notice how 
all the little fish and the tree and that tiny little island are cut from pieces of paper. Ooh, what the author did here is made a silhouette. A silhouette is just the outline of the shape of something without showing the details inside. So the silhouette is sort of like a shadow. You just see the shape, the black space, and you can see the details just by the shape, not by what's inside the shape. So here, what is that person doing? That's right, they're swinging, and the string creates the swing. It's a string swing. <laughs> and here, on the last page, the string makes the letters. What does it spell? So long. So, my challenge for you is to find a piece of string and use it to create some art. I think I'm going to try that right now. I'll share what I make on the slide. Have fun and I'll see you next time.